today I'm going to make fun mouse pumpkin tags and I'm using the products from Scraps and Inks. I'm using their Pixie Dust in Falling for You featuring autumn colors. This adorable pumpkin with little ears and it comes with a bow so you can be a girl mouse or a boy mouse pumpkin with bow. This shield right here is featuring Captain America. So that's fun. And the stamp set called Happy Hauntings. There we go. I'm using this Captain America shield to create a shaker. So I'll do that with you so you guys can see how to create a shaker. I also want to show the other products that I'll be using, which are the Distress Oxide inks in Rusty Hinge and Spun Sugar, Polka Dot Patterned Paper, some Acetate and Fun Foam doilies and tags, of course. I'm also featuring some gold threading and some fun fibers in the colors that I think I would use according to the Pixie Dust collection. So with that being said, let's get started. I am going to do some stamping on my tags, directly on the tags, and I'm going to use the tiny little mouse pumpkin that's there. There's also a bigger one. This is an outlined stamp, and I want to make sure that my stamping is nice and delicious with the ink, so that's why I stamped on the side of paper. I also want to make sure that um, I want some lighter stamping in there, and I'm doing double stamping where I stamp off the paper first and then the lighter version onto the tag. This stamp set is really cute and it features the Haunted Mansion themed stuff from the ride. It's so cute. So I really like that stamp. I'm also adding the top of the tag, a little, I want to say a fastener? No. I forgot what it's called, but I added a little circle at the top, which is a craft color. Then on the next tag, I'm making it pink. As you can see, I want to make one a girl mouse and a boy mouse pumpkin. So I'm adding a little bit of pink into the pumpkin because I think browns and pinks go really well together. And so that's what I want to do on that. Now cleaning it off, I'm going to come back and I'm going to clean that stamp, put it away. And now I'm going to do the die cutting of the shield, which I want to turn into a shaker. So in order to do that, I want to be able to cut a somewhat of a border. So I'm lining up this thicker circle with the thinner outer circle and making sure that they line up really well so that it's even on all sides. And I'm going to do that on the fun foam as well as the pattern paper, trying to keep the dies together. So look at this, it's supposed to be the shield, yet I'm going to use the outer piece to be the um, the shaker or the thicker part to the, there we go. So I'm, this is a piece I wanna use for the shaker. So I'm getting that top piece, putting it there and putting the acetate in between creates a fun shaker. So you can try that with some of your dies if they line up, if you have nestled dies, that works really well. So there we have even another shaker piece and a, and a little circle, rounded circle. So I'm going to do that twice. I've gone ahead and done one separately. Here I have the one under the acrylic block is all three sandwiched together. The pattern paper, the acetate, and the fun foam. And then this one is just going to be the acetate and the pattern paper. I want to see how it works better if I put down the foam first versus all of them together. So I'm going to wait for those to dry. While those are drying, I'm going to add in some doilies. I think I need a refill on my Barely Arts glue. I need to refill that little thing because clearly it's running out and I have to add in different adhesive. And adding the doily as well as making sure that it's nice and stuck on there. The worst thing could happen if your entire shaker piece comes off. There's a little bit of ink on that doily, but it's okay. It's going to be covered up anyways. I've gone ahead and cut out my pumpkins in brown fun foam. And then I'm just going to add on top of that the mouse ears. Isn't that cute? You can also cut that with the little stem a different color, the ears a different color. The sky's the limit when it comes to die cutting. And then this one right here, I thought this patterned one is cute. 
and I have the bow as well as a piece of fun foam. Now I want to see where the bow would go better on the orange or on the yellowy pumpkin. So now let's add the fun foam first on this one. And where does this bow go better? Patterned or yellow? I ended up picking yellow. I threaded some of that gold thread through the needle of the eye and I had a thin piece of gold trim. I thought that was perfect. This little bow die comes with two circles popped out. I'm not sure exactly why, but I used it to my advantage and I added in some fun little threads through there to add texture. And I'm going to add that to the little pumpkin and I think it works perfectly. There we go. I really like these colors. As you can see, my sweater is also orangey. I'm in the fall fields for this one. Now I'm going to add the pixie dust falling for you. Look at this. I'm going to stay still for just a minute so you could see it. Polymer clay, acrylic pieces. There's like a little acrylic feather in there. Little mouse shaped head sequence. Uh, flowers, leaves, little See, I want to say like little beads. I don't know. I'm not sure if they're beads. On this tag, I'm adding in pink. This I didn't want to go out off the camera too long. And so I just picked from this little mix that I had already. A little bit of pink. I don't know if it'll be much of a detail for you to see. But I know it's there. So now I'm adding the top of that right there. The acetate and the pen and paper. And I wanted to see if there was a difference between me making, putting in the foam foam first or not. So that's what this one is. Just adding the glue on the fun foam and adding it to the tag. Did it make a difference? Mm, not really, but I wanted to try what, a technique that other people were using to see if it worked for me. So now those are going to dry. I've gone ahead and did some sewing on this piece of tool and I'm adding it to the tags. I want to add them to the bottom. And so I'm trying to figure out what layout would look good for this. I didn't know if I wanted the trim on the top or the bottom, but now I'm going to add the fun part to the shakers, these pumpkins. I'm using the glue dots because I think they work the best with foam and acetate. Um, I've had a couple of other projects that don't work too well when I'm adhering the fun foam and the acetate. So I just added a little bit of liquid glue on that and we'll see if if it does anything. But for sure, for sure, the glue dots work the best for me. I've gone ahead and cut out um, a word. It's the word joy in Lawn Fawn um, Company. It, that's where the word is from. And then I'm going to add, making sure I add the threads, the ribbons to the bottom so that the word fits at the top. As you can see, I want the, the pink one to highlight more pink accents versus the orangey pumpkin. More masculine, more more feminine and masculine features on each tag. That way you can tell the difference. Adding in the word, it's popped up on fun foam as well as glitter foam. So it's double stacked, that one. And I curved it just a little bit. Like I said, that was part of the Lawn Fawn Enjoy word. And going to add in the last piece, which is the threads. I thought the word enjoy was perfect because that way I can add it with some pumpkin spiced um, elements, I guess, like a uh, creamer or a pumpkin pie snack or something like that. And it would be fun to just give a gift with this little tag on it. That's why I use the word enjoy. I mean, you can stamp the word happy harvest and add, um, you know, add it to your journaling on the back and maybe even to a traveler's notebook. That would be cute too. So I'm adding in these threads here. It took me a minute because the sequence did not want to go through the little hole. So I had to mess with it for a little while. This one I wanted, again, more pink features to highlight the little bow and make it girly. So I added just 
of ribbon on the top to hold those together. That's how my tags turned out. I want to highlight what I used, the Captain America shield, the happy haunting stamp, the sequence mix, and of course, the main event, the pumpkin with the bow. Aren't these cute? I think they turned out really well. You can see little specks of pink here and there on that one, but I wanted to show a feminine and masculine type of tag, but kind of using the same um, materials. That's how it turned out. I really like how this looked. I think it's really cute. Check out Scraps and Inks. They are on Etsy as well as on Instagram. I will have links to that store. They are amazing. I'm part of their design team and the design team is, I don't want to toot my own horn, but they are amazing and their products are all, you know, Disney inspired. So get yours if you can. You are going to love it. Until next time.